Hi, this is Tim the Watch Explorer. Welcome to my appreciation and sharing of end user perspectives from our hobbies and watches. The White Gold Rolex Daytona, reference number 116509. Probably the ultimate subtle timepiece targeted towards personal satisfaction and a very specific watch for enthusiasts that only needs the answer to themselves or those with a keen eye. The watch will appear like a steel Daytona to most, especially with a blue dial that is not bright or loud for someone to recognize at first glance, but packs surprising accents when you take a closer look. Made of full 18 karat gray white gold, which was made and manufactured by Rolex's own exclusive foundry, the white gold is of the same material color throughout from the surface downright to the core. So you won't have to worry about discoloration or differences when scratched or even incurring battle scars. On specifications, this modern Daytona houses a 4130 automatic movement with a 72 hour power reserve. At 40 mm case size and a 20 mm strap width, and also at 47.5 lug to lug width in a 12.2 mm thick case, giving you 100 meters of water resistance covered in sapphire glass. The Daytona itself probably needs no introduction, but if you would like me to do a detailed video of its history, please leave your comments below. So let's jump into pointing out the main differences that I've observed between a white gold Rolex Daytona versus steel ones other than just the price. These include the first one, the weight, which is almost at 222 grams versus steel ones weighing in at 132 grams. The second one is the hardness of the watch, whereas the white gold one is obviously more susceptible to damages and scratches. The next one is the case fitting and the size. As you'll notice that on the white gold, it's quite beefier and thicker around the legs and the bottom. And if you look even closer, the bottom of the lugs are actually flattened out so that it fits closer to your wrists. And as you can see, the actual lugs and the bracelets is actually raised a little bit and gives a much stronger presence versus the steel ones. Whereas the steel ones flare outwards and have a bigger gap in the middle. The last one is the stealth factor. As previously mentioned, this is definitely renowned by the white gold Daytona. And in some cases, even attracts less attention compared to the steel panda white dials of the Daytona in the steel models. What makes this Daytona special is the blue dial and the red accents on the subdials, coupled with the red Daytona text that really makes the dial design much more interesting compared to other Daytonas even after wearing for a long time. So what do you think about this watch being the ultimate stealth piece for watch enthusiasts? Let me know in the comments below. That concludes this video. And as always, your comments and suggestions are welcome to help us improve in our learning process. And don't forget to click like and subscribe and notification bell to keep updated on our sharing. Thanks for watching, and remember to share with fellow enthusiasts as your support is our motivation.